Hello everyone, it's Brooks here. Welcome back to Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Last time, we were looking for a black key. And we're going to continue looking for a black key. It's somewhere in this town. Firefly is pretty useful. I can't carry something. Ugh. We do not need all these dizzy dials, I guess. Anyways. Let's collect all these coins. I do like how they do hyper enemies. This is more of like what I was talking about in the last episode. That the hyper enemies got a lot of coins. It's very useful. They might actually make it worth grinding for coins. Speaking of coins, we have a lot of money. We got like 600 money from all those fights that we did. Living in this dark place is so depressing. Yeah, I understand it's depressing because we're literally living in a place that's an eternal twilight. Okay. There we go. So we said the key was somewhere. Oh, we have our friend, Uncumbella, who can give us hints. Let's look for the key to your blank chest. Maybe we should search the hut outside of town. Yeah, the hut outside of town. See? There's no need to get stuck in this game because Goombella's here to rescue us. We can't enter this hut at all. So how do we get in? Can we sneak in from the side maybe? Hmm. Not too sure about this one. Am I missing something? You have some kind of ability that will help us here. Pretty certain you don't. Is this a global surface, maybe? Let's see. Maybe we can move the big rock in front of the hut. Want to see what happens if we try to push it? Oh, wait, Mario probably could just push it, right? Yeah, that makes sense. You got a black key. A strange black key needed to open a strange black chest. I should have known that because there's like literally um what are they called skid marks from the pushing I think they're not called skid marks there's marks left from the pushing so let's get our new awesome ability I wonder what it will be this time oh thank goodness you're going to let me out oh happy day we fools Or do you expect me? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Yeah, I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses. The curse, yes, curse ever. From um, a maternal part. Like, you know the pain of having your body roll up real small? Be cursed! Wee hee hee, now you're cursed, loser. Save for your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as attack it too. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. I show me your curse plate so I can laugh all the more. Just pull us and hold ZR, then rotate the left stick repeatedly. Okay. Hehe, <laughs> your pathetic misery throws me to the car. While well, you're hitting up on the floor everywhere, it's an embarrassingly extruded wheel. I want to get a good look at you in this beautiful form. Now roll like a truck to put a scratch on the sidewalk. Hee hee hee, well do you see how beautiful you and two really are? When suffering becomes too much, press B to revert to your normal self. Don't forget. You tell me, do you understand your eternal cylindrical agony? I need you to suffer, fools. <laughs> oh, thanks for the awesome ability and totally got a curse. Oh, we can get past that tree now. You open the storm and see, feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for a chance to get my husband back, I think. No sense fretting though, I should get the store ready for business. I wish I had my husband back in normal. You know, help me run the place, you know. What if you get turned into a pig and then I come back here and I don't get any pipes? Oh, how do you miss you threes out? Rogue port today. 
At noon today, the XS Express ran late for the first time in 10 years as a suspicious incident activated station security measures area. You for the huge train enthusiast Lackey was found taking pictures in an employee-only area near the Express and was gang-tackled by local Samaritans. I understand how much people are getting to trains, but we've got safety and security measures to uphold. Blustered, the train engineer, the youth, was released with their just a warning this time. This week, we highlight Glitzville's souvenir shop. Though they're never attracted as many customers, nearby hot dog stands, the, pro the proprietor is certain that any day now people will in fact notice that this shop exists. Early on in our interview, the owner of a nearby hot dog stand cornered our reporter and had this to say. The souvenir shop is irrelevant to the true hot dog connoisseur with 10 coins to spend. A minor scuffle broke out shortly thereafter, but we're happy to report that no one was seriously injured. Apparently everyone in Glitzville knows how to roll with a punch. Cooking for Rookies Hey there rookies, flex your bendy straws because today's recipe is for fresh juice. Just blend the honey syrup until you reach a nice frothy texture and enjoy. Try one in the morning to start your day off right. Editors no. We're just getting started people, wait until you see our glorious nectar shoe. Okay. I'm not sure how these um reading these are useful to us. Oh, that was a lot of reading, so now I'm thirsty. Okay. So now we can actually progress past all the evil. Uh, the hybrid gum is going to respawn. I can't remember the respawn rates for things. I really do want to fight the hyper goombas, but I'm going to pause because you've already seen these fights. Alright, we are back. And now we can finally roll ourselves underneath this tree. So it's ZR and then... Or is it ZL? Yeah, it is ZR. Then we become paper and now we are amazing. Do we roll in all dimensions? We can. I want to stay as this as forever. I'm just kidding. We don't need to stay like this forever. We save lock. Definitely gonna hit that. Those hyper goombas hit like trucks, and I accidentally messed up the perfect dodge, and I lost a lot of health. That's okay. Oh, maybe we need to roll underneath this tree. Hmm. What could possibly be ne our next move here? I could whack this tree really hard. can't really do anything with this tree. So what's the whole point of this area? Can we push these rocks? Maybe... Hmm... Maybe there's another area that we need to roll to later on? There we go. We have become... A rolly paper. I'm trying to see if there's an area over here that maybe, perhaps maybe, has something to do with something here. We get to go here. I don't see. There's a giant tree in our way. Oh wait a second, I forgot. Goombella has hints, so let's return back there. I can't believe I'm wasting a little bit of time, but it's okay. We actually move really fast in this rolling form. I actually really like it. We're gonna ignore all these enemies. Just because they're not relevant right now. And let's ask Goombella. Let's try the crystal stars inside a creepy stupid. This place is deep in the forest and far from town. What about this? What do I do about this? Oh, maybe we can blow it away? Aha! I can't believe I don't think about these things. Is the pipe gonna reject us? It did not. We were in the background. I love going in the background. Wait. Where are we now? Ooh, this area is so cool. Like, what are you, an evil flower? You're new. At least you're not a hyper Goomba. Speaking of hyper Goombas, they're here. And here, here to try and take me out. Make me very sad. Okay, let's swap to Gumbella and learn about the flower. That we tattle a crazy daisy. 
That's a crazy daisy. The paint looks totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP 7, attacks 2, defense is 0. What you gotta worry about is that it's a lullaby. The tune will totally zonk you out. I can manage your guard well though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. And when it's HP run low, it runs away, so try to KO it in one fell swoop. Okay. You ran away already? Okay. I don't mind if you're running away, to be honest. You're hanging on the edge right here, squeezing some sweet treat. Okay. I can't believe I needed to use sweet treat so early on. You probably wouldn't need a beat to use it. Okay. There we go. Okay, with the poison screws, we need another drill at this point. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're good here. Ooh, that's six right there. Pretty useful. Okay, let's maybe work on getting rid of you first. What if we go ahead and swap partners and do spidey? And we do run the gold. Maybe I'll get rid of that one too. We're also doing some decent damage to the other one. It helps us for damage. But it is one damage to the one who gets attacked. Uh, why am I so bad at Super Guard all of a sudden? I'm doing it perfectly, like every single time. It's getting it distracted. It's a visual thing. It's a very visual thing, and I'm just not looking at what I'm doing. Sometimes. Which is an issue. Because we had just healed up too. That's why I'm thinking we might get like something like we had in the first game. Is there anything over here? That's a real question. Is this place a maze? I sure hope not. I did not like the maze in the first game. Okay. What are you? An earthquake? Oh, earthquake. Let's just use this mushroom. That should heal us up a little bit, which means we can survive one hyper attack, but not many others. Okay, I really want to destroy this flower as soon as possible. Okay, it's gonna be an issue if it makes me sleepy. Okay, we do not want to do multi damage because we can get hurt. Let's make sure that we defeat you. Okay, for some reason I can die of using my hammer. Gold is really gonna help you with the ground pattern though. Really. What am I scared about? The crazy daisy? I think the crazy daisy is still scary. Okay. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay. Cool. We got a lot of scare power. Okay, you ran away. Perfect, because I do not want to deal with you. Oh great, you have an item. It's gonna turn you invincible. Oh, okay. That ain't good. Okay, we can work with this. We just have an invincible Hyper Goomba who decided to be charged up. Yes. Take that. I had no idea that if you're invisible, you're not a brown pound. Okay, you're the worst hero to have. Hero, I mean partner to have to be here. Let's just do a normal shot off. I don't think that that's big damage. It might be big damage. It could have done too. Okay. Charge up, and you're no longer invincible, so we need to take you out as soon as possible. Okay. Let's take you out right now. Because you're charged up. Okay, cool. Okay, this is not gonna help. Oh, well. We can We can take you out. Yeah, I don't want to use too many turns. If we get a good multi bomb game, I waste start turn. How could I have missed a turn? At least we were getting some health, which is good. Okay, it doesn't matter because we're gonna win anyways. Honestly, I didn't even need to do that. I could have just done a normal jump and not waste the firepower. This is why it's useful to know how much health they have. 
Because you could do math and figure out what your best move is. Okay. Let's continue wandering through this. Ooh, is that a badge? We won't know if we know because these crazy daisies out there. Oh, you. I'm pretty sure we can hit rock dudes now. If we use gold, I believe. Let's just make sure that we jump you. There we go, perfect. Let's go to a um, tactic switch. Uh, Spike has gold. Okay. Oh. I love how we just switch partners a lot. No! I don't this is the hold one. Oh, no. That's a hyper? Oh. Oh, no. I'm scared. I am very scared. Doesn't our normal super hammer work? No. Yeah, the super hammer does work on this dude. Oh great, now I can't use gold. Okay, we might as well just use gold like the power on this dude. This is a very, very scary, scary area. These hyper enemies are just... That's a hyper clock. It's basically a clock that uses charge up moves. Like HP's 4, attack is 3, defense is 3. When charge up attack power, it rises to 9. Couple of rock hardness with its ability to charge up and things get scary. If you combinate, you may want to try doing some guards to send its attack stack. If you can't, you better use some items or you better hightail it out of there. Ugh. At least I know how to super guard. I think this is the most consecutive super guards that we've done. Okay, let's use a super hammer. Actually, I'm pretty sure a normal hammer is powerful enough to hit him. We do not have to use firepower like this. Now anything that restores firepower. Uh, does the shooting star work on this dude? I'd like to say yes, but it might not. Oh, of course it does, okay. That was really scary. Now, I want to see what this badge is, or item, or whatever it was. A hammer throw badge. The original is at any distance to hammer toss that ignores defense. Oh, that's useful because it ignores defense. It's only one badge power, too. Let's get rid of the quake hammer and use. Uh, what was it called? It was called a hammer throw? Hammer throw, there it is. And then. No stand, no shrimp fan. Charge. Soft stump. Mega rush P. Attack fire when your partner only has one HP. I think close call is pretty useful. No, actually power jump. I want power jump actually. No, power jump is just like normal. Jumping with the slight view. Increased attack bar. Actually, do not want that. Okay, how do we get past this tree? The tree spawned it. It's suspicious. What if it needs hidden there? Aha. Uh -huh. See, I wish my hint was given about this earlier, like, before. Okay. Cool. Oh, we're in the background again. I was like, where did Molly go? I really like this area so far. It's so cool. But of course we get to deal with super powerful enemies. Oh, Mario is way too weak to push that. But there is something that we can blow right here. Okay, and I know that we can break these now. Will that take us to the other side? It takes us over here. Maybe instead of going to T. Okay, okay, I have another idea. And so what was jump that gap? We probably just need to switch to you. Oh, you can use your partners in the background. Can we push this rock here? We can. What an interesting puzzle. Anyways, unfortunately, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. We really went down the rabbit hole there.
拜拜。